Hey guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here and welcome to another video. And in this video today, first and foremost, I want to thank those who have left kind words and comments in my videos and previous videos in reference to everything that we're doing that I share. If you're not in tune and you haven't watched those videos, I shared that um, we're moving, we're selling our home, we're buying a new house. It's a lengthy process. We already, we technically we're starting the whole process. And uh, right now there's a lot of things that we're doing to the house that we're selling. There's a lot of things that needed to be remodeled and need to be changed in order to sell it, you know, the, the price that we want or the, the amount that we're asking for. So there are a lot of things that we are in that, in that moment, we're in that process. And it's, it can be stressful, it can be tiresome and worrisome, but everything is good. Uh, we're trusting God on everything. He's been good to us. Everything is going well. Um, so right now I'm packing a lot of stuff. So it's, it's a mess in the house right now and trying to get everything ready. I want to have the time sometimes to share my opinion about things that are happening around us. And particularly for collectors, I think uh, as a collector, as a person who has been part of uh, multiple communities in collecting, whether there is statues, action figures, or you name it, I collect a lot of things, die cast models. There's always a lot of drama. And I seen that constantly uh, on Facebook groups. You see that on YouTube, you see everywhere there's drama companies are always in the mid of drama and sometimes the drama it's on call for uh, it started by people in the community that sometimes are not really interested on the betterment of the communities just because they're looking for attention and you are becoming a puppet uh, of other people who are manipulating you to think to act to say things that you're not, you, you don't want to say or you don't want to be part of i will tell you this straightforward there's always going to be challenges on every hobby. There's always going to be certain drama. Companies are going to come and companies are going to go. Sometimes companies are at the highest level. Sometimes companies will be at the lowest level. Sometimes there is management issues. Sometimes there is a transition period where some companies trans transform into something totally different. And yes, yeah, sometimes you get involved into it. Sometimes you, maybe you have pre-orders, maybe you have a lot of things that you purchase and you're anticipating and the probably companies are not communicating the way you're supposed to. And uh, it, that can be worrisome. And that's one thing that I said many times before. That's one of the reasons I do not pre-order. Uh, although I do pre-order, I do not pre-order at the same level other people do. Uh, why? Because I've learned that if you put too much money into things that are promised to be made, Ultimately, you have nothing until that comes, and that could take a year, it could take two years. I've seen cases where it can take up to four years. Thankfully, I've never been involved in that situation. The most have always have waited for something to be on pre-order. It's been a year and a half, perhaps, and that's the most. Um, I, thankfully, I've never really crossed a two-year line, but some people, are, unfortunately, have to go through that process. My advice to people is stay away from the drama, particularly if you are dealing in social media, uh, if you're dealing with a company, communicate with the company, send messages to the company, talk to them. You can even talk to them in social media. Some of the owners of the company, they respond, talk to them instead of just going in social media on Facebook groups or even YouTube channels that just to, you know, and listen to people who have nothing to do with it, but they're all really stirring the pot so they can get more views on their channel or they can get more subscribers or they can get, uh, you know, more followers on the social media, on their Facebook groups or whatever. And, you know, Instagram, although I don't see that much on Instagram or even on Twitter, it becomes such a cesspool of, um, I would say of a lot of toxicity that it's not a good place for a collector to be. Now, keep in mind this, you are collecting, you're a collector because you love these things. You are passionate about what you collect. And again, not everything works out for the best. Um, you are doing this for fun. You're not doing this just to keep a quota or to be nice to your peers or to kind of, you know, gather with other people who are like-minded in some way. Although I will tell you, most people who are together in a community are not like-minded. Everyone has different opinions, whether it has to do with religion, has to do with pol politics. Everyone is different. Every has different opinions. But sometimes we want to feel like we are part of this community. And in reality, this community is not part of us. So you have to always know who your friends really are. And keep in mind that not every person in a community is has your, your best interest at heart. Whoever creates content in YouTube is not there for you. They're there for themselves. They're there to create videos so people they you know can watch them so they can perhaps make some money out of it at some point. Because of course, when you start having these big channels, then you have a lot of viewers and then you start getting some ad revenue, things like that. People do it for themselves. They don't do it really for everybody else. Um, not saying that everyone feels the same way, because I will put myself in that same situation. Yeah, you have to know who your friends really are 
and realize that not everybody's your friend in social media. And yes, you people watch your videos or they listen to you or they read your posts on Facebook, but ultimately people are looking for information for themselves. And ultimately it is a selfish world, unfortunately. But if you stay away from drama, it makes your life a lot easier. Uh, and as a collector, you're able to enjoy things. And yes, sometimes things are not gonna go the way you want to, but at least you're at peace with it. Instead of just always getting so, you know, in this case, so traumatized by things or so, you know, fed up or so tired, you know, because if not, I'm telling you, you're gonna fed up, get fed up so quick. You're gonna be so stressed out that you're gonna give up this altogether and you're gonna blame it on the hobby and the hobby has nothing to do with it. It's mostly the approach that you have to this. And if you listen to the wrong people, you have to perk your ears to the right people. You have to listen to the right people. I personally, I'd rather listen to people who have been doing this for a long time. Uh, I have friends and people who I follow. I have been, you know, I follow in the, even on the forums back in the day, people who I know that they've been doing this for a long time. And I know their opinion has weight because they know what they're talking about. But I'm not gonna listen to somebody that has been, to be honest with you, that has been collecting for maybe five years the most, or maybe a few years here and there, and it's maybe only here trying to promote themselves in their channels. Those type of people have no idea what they're talking about most of the time. You know, yeah, they may know some people because they grow, their channels grow, or their social media groups, their Facebook groups are big enough so they can get some, a lot of, uh, you know, connections, but they are not as knowledgeable about the hobby as a whole. I prefer uh, to hear from someone who has been doing this the longest, who has seen different companies, the evolution of the hobby. Put things in perspective. Put your family first, your health, you know, your mental health, your physical health first, anything else doesn't matter. Companies are gonna come, companies are gonna go. Sometimes things don't work out the best way. You're here for the long run. You're not here just for a moment. You're not here just to, you know, for that. The heat of the moment that sometimes people get trapped in and they don't want, they don't have a way to get out because they get so trapped in and so worked up into things that really don't really matter in the end. So I will tell you guys, you know, just keep your head up, stay away from the drama. If you find people who are always stirring the pot, stay away from them, stay clear from them. And you believe me, it helps a lot. It makes your life a lot easier. You're able to see things from a new perspective and a better angle of things. and. You can, you know, at the end of the day, you make the decision. If you want to buy something or you don't want to buy it, you want to support a company or you don't, but you're not, in this case, instigated or I would say motivated, but mostly you are manipulated by individuals that really don't care much about you. They really don't care much about the hobby itself. They care more about themselves and how they put themselves or present themselves on social media. So my friends, I want to say thank you very much for your support. Stay tuned. I probably will keep sharing more videos. Um, sharing my opinion and my experience. Um, take care, my friends. God bless. I'll talk to you again. Bye bye. I gotta follow my vision. No time for daydreams. All my brothers get money. We call it gang green. Just another day, but I focus still on the same thing. Us against everyone else. I recommend.